Okay, my name is uh, Billy Obino. I'm the regional head of Qualcomm Incorporated in uh, East Africa. Um, I want to talk about um, uh, one question that was put across, and that is um, uh, how we can empower the African youth to be able to become social agents for change. And I think um, one area that I'm very passionate about is te the use of technology, and we've seen that uh, over the years, especially with the explosion of the mobile um, uh, mobile phones and the adoption of mobile services uh, in Africa, we've seen that um, uh, Africans have become very innovative in terms of how we use the mobile phone, um, in terms of communication, being empowered, um, right in the urban and rural areas. But I think um, one area where, uh, as African leaders, as uh, business leaders, uh, as governments, uh, one area that I think we can really put a lot of emphasis on or put a lot of work on is uh, to create an enabling environment, uh, one that spurs innovation. And by spurring innovation, I don't just mean that uh, uh, we come up with an environment which uh, encourages, in in encourages innovation at a later stage in life, but um, uh, a system of education that right from the formative years, when the children start going to school, um, we create uh, you know, curricula, we, we, you know, we focus on areas of uh, extracurricular activities, that um, can get our children to start thinking innovatively right from the time when they're young people. Um, yeah, Albert Einstein said that uh, imagination is better than knowledge. Uh, what he was referring to is that um, uh, innovation really has a, a, a big role to play in terms of um, uh, empowering our people. And I think uh, if we create an enabling environment, we invest in, um, we need to look at our education system. Uh, invest in an e education system that, uh, you know, from the time these kids start going to school, apart from going through the academic uh, curricula, which, which is really important in terms of them getting the knowledge, we also need to uh, get these people to start thinking of how they can innovate. You know, look at their environment, uh, start asking questions, uh, look at what is happening every day around their lives, and be able to, uh, you know, encourage them to look at things uh, out of the box, uh, look at things differently. So uh, it will take a lot of work because if you look at the, the, the most of the educational systems that we have today, um, I find more of them are more academic, but I think if we make that shift in terms of realizing that uh, times have changed, we need to have a more innovative uh, society, then we'll put in a lot of emphasis in terms of uh, uh, empowering these guys or you know, the, the youth uh, to become innovative. Um, that will lead to uh, use of technology in a better way because I believe that um, most of the solutions, or, uh, I mean solution to most of the problems that we face today or the challenges that we face today as Africa will be solved by us. And um, one of the biggest assets that we have today is, you know, if we can build a knowledge base that uh, leverages technology, then we'll also be able to take it to the next level to use technology, um, use uh, ICD, for example, uh, to come up with solutions uh, that are born out of, of Africa, that are relevant to Africans, and that understand the African challenges that we face today. And, you know, if we give youth this, they will be able to take this forward and use whatever technology or whatever innovation that they come up with uh, to solve the problems that we face today. Thank you.